weather. We not controlling it by the fair or age because fair and age can be inserted after this. Okay, we we took this model first. Okay, okay, you go here. You can see here. All right. So how to read your logistic regression? The first of all, you go to the block number one. This is called the beginning block. Can you see it? The beginning block. The beginning block, the most important thing is actually the classification tables. You must make sure that the classification tables give you the satisfactory percentage of correct. But this one is block zero. Block zero means what? Null. Block zero means what? Null. So if you not insert any X or any, sorry, any factors yet, as zero, as per se, that survive or not survive, the classification correctness of the data will be 59. Ini panggil null. Null, eh? Okay, variable in the equation will be as follows. I'm going to skip all these things because in the end of the day, you want to interpret based on the block one, which is your model. So, if you see, this is your model. The first one is the omnibus test for model coefficient. Omnibus test for model coefficient indicate the satisfactory of the model fit. You want to make sure that at the SIG value for this particular table, less than 0 0.05. This one less than 0 0.05? That means the model is fit. That's all. Model fit? Yes. Why? The omnibus test for the model coefficient indicate the significant value is less than 0 0.05. Halas. Then you go to the model summary. Did you see the Nagrakal R square over there? That one is the pseudo R. So if you can see the pseudo R over there is actually indicating something to do with 42.9%. But it's not the real R square like the linear but it's sort of pseudo it's like um, sort of giving you some inside ideas so you can use the cox snell or you can use the nagarakrel i prefer use the nagarakrel why based on my reading up lah uh, in the statistical uh, books so nagarakrel is much more um in easy to be interpreted and much more closer to the linear regression okay the next one Hosmer and Lemeshaw statistics. This one also want to test what? The fitting of the models. So if you want to know the model is fit or not fit, my suggestion to you, this SIG should not less than 0 0.05. Uh, but this one is less than 0 0.05, right? Uh, so it is sort of unsatisfactory but still acceptable. Lah. But to get the very good model, by right, eh? not by left. By right, your hosmer lemeshaw test should be not significant. That means your model are very good. Okay? And then you can see this one is the contingency table for the Hosmer and Lemeshaw. The Hosmer and Lemeshaw here actually indicate this one. How the closeness of the step according to your observed and expected. You see, this one 128 and then it's expected 119. So what is the difference? The big difference over here indicate that the classifications is not good. And that's why it's significant. Uh, in this case, never mind. If you don't want to understand this one, you can skip. Lah. The most important is below how down here. Just now, we predict on the block 0 is 59, right? But just now, it's become 77.9. It's good. It's considered good. You see? This one is block 0, 59.2. But now, it's become 77. What does that mean? That means the classification, the correct classification is improved. That means it's good model. You can use it, okay? And then the last but not least is this one. Ah, this is what we want to learn about, okay? Constant, what is constant? It's same like your R. You got the, you got the intercept. This is the constant. The next one that you want to understand is this one, right? P class in the bracket 1. What does that mean? First class, very good. So, you want to see the odd of surviving for those who are in the first class. You see? The result is significant or not? Significant. What is the value of the OR? Exponential B is actually talking about the OR. What is the OR? Fine. That means, if you purchase a ticket from the first class, you have the odd of chances five times. Or, you have the five, what, five times um, odd of being survived. Rather than those who are staying in the class number 3. Because we are using the passenger class number 3 as our reference. Okay, I made repetition. Eh? You see this one? Passenger class number 1. This is the beta. This is standard error. This is a walk statistic. This is a degree of freedom. This is significant levels. It means that there is a significant predictors. The exponential value is more than 1. How, how more is the 1 is more? You see? 
the null will be 1, right? So this one is 5.579. That's mean 5.5 minus 1 is equivalent to 5, uh, sorry, 4.5. 400 and 57 percent 457 hundred percent of the oats of survive if you are sitting in the passenger class number one so that's mean you are much more uh, happier and you are much more survive lah if you purchase a ticket and if you are from the class number one is is this uh, value is significant yes you can see the lower and upper value is more than one and is is more than one which is this one 3.8 and then this one 8.1 which is more than one that's mean it is the odd of the chances is significant is statistically significant okay if you see the class number two you see this one is 0, 0.00 the odd is 2.2 that's mean if you buy a ticket in the class number two you will get the odd of chances of to be survived at two, two times correct maknanya kalau anda beli ticket class pertama lima kali selamat ha. so kalau ada sepuluh orang Yang beli tiket kelas pertama, maknanya 5 orang daripada kelas pertama tu akan selamat. Ha, 5 kali ganda selamat lah berbanding dengan beli kelas ketiga. Siapa beli kelas ketiga, confirm takkan selamat. Maksudnya dia akan menjadi almayat. So, kalau yang kelas kedua, 2 kali ganda keselamatan dia. Okay, ini kita talk about odds of surviving. Okay, and then the last one but not least is the gender. You see, this one is very very good idea. 12 kali ganda. Kalau awak perempuan pun awak selamat 12 kali ganda banding dengan lelaki. Maknanya, nak selamat dalam isu Titanic, jadilah perempuan. <laughs> Ini saya tak tahu lah, nyah termasuk ke tidak. <laughs> Probably in certain inside this mall. Tak. What is that mean? That mean is give you some idea what is the kind of prediction capacities that we can sort of predict who are going to be survived in this particular event. But remember, we not control for the age. If you saw the story, you can also learn about the children also being prioritized the, uh, despite of their classes, right? So that's why we need to control the age. So by putting the another variable after this age and also fair, for example, therefore you can adjust the value of the P, or sorry, the value of the exponential B to become more accurate. So how to do that? You just rerun again, but make sure you insert the value of the age and you insert the value of the fair. Can you do that for me? Okay. Let us do it now. And please.